What is the volume of this box? Drag on the box to rotate it. So this is pretty neat. We can actually sit and rotate this box. But we've already seen, we and here it looks like everything's being measured in meters. So we want to measure our volume in terms of cubic meters. That's going to be our unit cube here. So when we want to think about how many, of, how many cubic meters could fit in this box, we've already seen examples that you really just have to multiply the three different dimensions of this box. So if you wanted the number of cubic meters that could fit in here, it's going to be six meters, six meters times eight meters, times eight meters, times seven meters, which is going to give you something in cubic meters. So let's think about what that is. Six times eight is 48. And let me see if, if I can do this in my head. 48 times seven, that's 40 times seven, which is going to be 280 plus eight times seven, which is 56. 280 plus 56 is going to be 300 and 336. 336. Let's check our answer. Let's do one more of these. So what's the volume of this box? Well, once again, we have its height at six feet. Now everything's being measured in feet. We have its, I guess we could call it its width being four feet. So we can multiply the height times the width of four feet. And then we can multiply that times its depth of two feet. So times its depth of two feet. So six times four is 24, times two is 48 feet. 48, and I should say cubic feet. We're saying how many cubic feet can fit in here? When we multiply the various dimensions measured in feet, we're essentially saying we're, we're counting almost how many of those cubic feet can fit into this box.